What is immunotherapy? Immunotherapy is a vaccination program that can decrease your allergy symptoms. Immunotherapy is commonly known as allergy shots. What's in immunotherapy shots? Extracts of common allergens like tree, grass, weed pollens, mold spores, animal dander, dust mites. Every person's allergy vaccine is custom made based on their allergy test results. How is immunotherapy given? Immunotherapy treatment begins by giving you tiny amounts of the allergen by an injection in the arm that are gradually increased over time. Injections are given with a tiny needle into the fat under the skin subcutaneously. Injections are not given with a larger needle into the muscle, like flu or tetanus injections. How does immunotherapy work? Through repeated exposure to gradually increasing amounts of allergens in your vaccine, your body's allergic sensitivity is decreased. This means when you encounter these allergens in the future, you should have reduced allergy symptoms. Will I still need allergy medications? You will need to continue your allergy medications when immunotherapy is started. As your allergy symptoms improve, you may need less allergy medication with your shots. Medication use is typically reduced by 50% or more in most patients. Regular injections are important. If you begin immunotherapy, it is important to stay on as regular an injection schedule as possible. Immunotherapy may not be beneficial if you miss injections frequently. Your dose can be adjusted if you travel or go on vacation. Injection buildup. Patients normally receive buildup injections either once or twice per week until a top or maintenance level of allergens is achieved. Injections may be given more frequently via a cluster or rush schedule if suggested by your allergist. Maintenance injections are usually given every two to four weeks. How long will I be on immunotherapy? Immunotherapy is usually given for three to five years and then re-evaluated. A trial off immunotherapy may be recommended at this point. If injections are stopped, two out of three patients will have continued improvement for three years or longer. When will I get better on immunotherapy? Many patients will improve in three to six months after starting their shots. Some patients though may take up to a year before improvement is seen. How effective is immunotherapy? Generally speaking, 85 to 90 percent of patients with a good history of allergies and positive allergy tests will have a significant reduction in allergy symptoms. Individual responses to immunotherapy do vary, however. What happens when I come in for an injection? You will sign in on the injection sheet when you arrive at the office and your name will be called in the order you arrive. The injection will be given and you must wait for at least 20 minutes after the shot in case you have an allergic reaction to the injection. Allergic reactions to immunotherapy? Local reactions at the location of the injection. Redness, swelling, itching, discomfort. These are usually mild and treated with antihistamines, ice, or an anti-inflammatory. Allergic reactions to immunotherapy. Systemic reactions away from the site of injection may include nasal congestion, drainage, sneezing, itching, red, itchy, watery eyes, coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, throat swelling, hoarseness, hives, swelling or itching of the skin, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, low blood pressure, feeling faint only occur in about one to two patients in 100 on shots. Usually occur within 20 to 30 minutes of the injection. Should be reported immediately to the clinic staff. 
Treatment to reverse the reaction should be started as soon as possible in order to prevent the reaction from becoming more severe. Contact our office immediately if a reaction occurs after you leave the clinic. Conditions treated with immunotherapy. Allergic rhinitis, nasal allergies, allergic conjunctivitis, eye allergies, asthma, severe insect sting reactions, food allergies, hives, and eczema are usually not treated with immunotherapy. Pregnancy and immunotherapy. Notify our office immediately if you become pregnant. Immunotherapy is considered safe during pregnancy and is usually continued during pregnancy. Allergy shots are not started or increased while pregnant. New medications. Some prescription medications may make it more difficult to treat an allergic reaction to your immunotherapy, should it occur. These medications are called beta blockers. Notify our office of any new prescription medications while you are on allergy injections. When not to get an injection? If you have an infection or are running a fever, having a severe flare of your nose or eye allergies, ask the office staff if you are not sure before your shot. Having a flare of your asthma. Benefits of immunotherapy. A reduction in allergy symptoms. A reduced need for allergy medications for most patients. A possibility of long-term improvement in allergy symptoms, even after injections are discontinued. A reduced risk of developing new allergies for some children. A reduced risk of developing asthma in children with nasal allergies.